You know, if you don't have a PS5, I bet you feel like a real dunce right about now. Everybody's running around screaming about Spider-Man 2, and you've got no $600 to drop on a brand new console. But hey, I'm not one to pour salt on the wound. You know I've got something here to show you that'll fit in the PS5-shaped hole in your heart. Well, I, I guess that depends on what you play it on. Roblox is a massive mess of a video game. I can barely even call this thing a video game. It's more like a giant virtual playground that you can just plop your child on when you don't want to pay attention to them. You can go anywhere in Roblox. You can go to a strip club, a McDonald's, the fucking Josh Hutcherson whistle me. But anyway, yeah, you know what I'm getting at. There are a couple of Spider-Man games to choose from on Roblox that I'm gonna show you today. I'm not gonna beat around the bush either. I know you guys are hungry searching for alternatives to robbing your local GameStop for the exclusive Spider-Man PS5. So let's not fuck around anymore. Alright, so the first game is called Swing City. Let's hope it's not Swing Shitty. Alright, so you boot up the world and there's this... Roblox fuckboy staring at you while casually sticking to the wall. I have to guess that this is as close as they can get to having an actual Spider-Man-esque mascot appear in the game. I assume it's because it'd be harder down the line to promote this game on the Roblox fucking world or whatever if Spider-Man's copyrighted face was all over this thing. So I assume they just nixed him for this young man over here. Oh, he looks like he's mewing at me for Christ's sakes. Please, let's just move on with the game already. So on first impression, the swinging in this game can be a little clunky at times. There's not a lot of control in your hands once you're on a web line, but the game gives you a pretty handy web zip function to put a little more control back in your hands. I mean, that's how it should be, right? Spider-Man only uses his web lines to move around. It's not like he can move around very much without them in the air. The problem is that aiming the web lines is really snappy. Usually, in Spider-Man games, Spider-Man aims the web for you, but here, you kind of do it yourself? Normally, that would be great, but I find the aiming issue to be really snappy, and I often just end up not hitting what I want to hit. I mean, it can feel good to swing in this game, sure, but that would be when you aren't randomly dropping in momentum in midair. Like, this isn't me messing with the controls. If you don't shoot out a web line every two seconds, you will just fall right out of the air no matter how hard you bank off a web line. I know I'm being really negative about the game's traversal right now, but that doesn't mean it's not fun to play. Once you actually start to get into the flow of things and start whipping around the sides of buildings and corners with the web zips and the web swings and stuff, it's actually not that bad. The standard rhythm is pretty much just swing, zip, swing, zip as fast as you can over and over and over again to keep that flow of motion going, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works in Swing City, and once you get into the flow of it, it's kind of fun. That ain't all, though. There's lots to do on this little island. Yeah, look at this, I just beat the shit out of this toilet. Not to mention all the quests there are to do. I have to confess, I've played this game once before. It was a couple months ago in between videos, and am I embarrassed to say that I've played this long enough to get this high of a level? No, I'm not. Look at me. Anyway. There's a whole bunch of these buildings all over the map that have quests tied to them. And that naturally means there's some NPCs to dick around with. Like Mayor Jones, whose first line has a typo in it calling you Yuling or Granny Smith? This is a grandma? Where are your wrinkles at, lady? Man, I don't wanna do this shit, I'm outta here. Another feature of this game I find unique is that there's a lot of swinging accessories to purchase. Money basically litters the airways and tops of buildings, so pick up enough of that cash and you'll be able to trick out your swinging with some trails. Yeah, it's nothing too fancy, just a beam of color that shoots out your back as you swing. You can also commit an unholy sin and change the color of your webbing. Oh, look at this, I'm Pisser Man. Oh God, look at the size of this one. Who would ever want to swing on a web that thick? Well, that's everything I care to cover in Swing City. Let's move on to the next game, Envision's Webverse. Everyone keeps telling me to play this one, so let's see what it's all about. It looks like the game is still celebrating the release of Spider-Verse, despite Spider-Man 2 being out for quite a while now. Eh, it's okay. I still really like the Spider-Verse scenery regardless. We got a couple of options here. We got a suit menu, a story mode, a villains tab, and a store tab. Well, the only suit available now is the classic suit, so I guess I'll just throw that on. 
A lot of these suits look really awesome, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to looking at those later, I promise. The villains tab seems to be a bit useless unless you got some Robux on you to drop. Not to say that this doesn't seem like fun if I did have some Robux to spare. But hey, I'm not here to be a supervillain. I'm here because I can't afford to be Spider-Man on a PS5. Well, well, I mean you can't afford... Um. Anyway, let's check out the story mode. I gotta say, the reuse of Spider-Man sound bites and audio tracks from old games is not lost on me. And I honestly kind of appreciate that. It's a nice touch. There's only one episode available, and it looks like it's an origin story based on the thumbnail. So for the next 11 minutes, you pretty much get to play a visual novel about the origin of Spider-Man up until the spider what bite. What the? Ah! Peter! Thank fucking Christ. WHAT?! This isn't a slight towards the game, it was me getting my hopes up about there being actual, like, Spider-Man segments in the first level of the story. So this is no fault of the creators, just know that going into the first episode, the gameplay is just like a really long walking slash cutscene exposition thingy. It, it's in most modern video games, Last of Us does it, Spider-Man does it. It's basically just this, the whole episode, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's not a bad thing. It's okay. But honestly, I'm going to give this game time and think about doing a full video on it at some point later. But you know, the game's got to prove itself to me first. Oh my god. I didn't even know something like this could even be possible on Roblox. It's like if Spider-Man on PS4 had a back alley banging with LEGO Marvel superheroes. This game swinging is genuinely impressive. It does suffer a bit from insomniac swinging syndrome, where the swinging kind of feels a bit unrealistic at times and, and, and sometimes a little nonsensical, but it's still fun nonetheless. If Webverse is like Spider-Man PS4, then Swing City is kind of like Web of Shadows' slower cousin. I meant like slow as in gameplay, not- The suits in this game are pretty killer. Pretty much any single Spider-Man skin you could ever want is here. There could be a few missing, but this is a fan-made game. These guys aren't fucking pussies. They'll put any Spider-Man skin they want in this goddamn game. And so many of them aren't locked behind Robux, and you can actually unlock them in the game. Sure, you can buy the tokens to get them, but you could also fight crime to get way more bang for your buck. I gotta commend the developers for not locking the skins behind Robux exclusively. Being a free game, locking skins behind Robux would have been a justifiable way to make money off this game. This is definitely something that deserves its own video, and I've seen that a few people in my community have actually worked on this game. So, if you guys are watching, kudos to you, keep up the amazing work, and I will be watching. Alright, next game. This one's called Tangled Web Chronicles. There's more than one version of this game, so I hope this is the most current one. I think I might have accidentally turned on an older version on my first attempt to cover this one. Something I really appreciate about this game is that it opens with a skippable tutorial about the UI. I often find navigating the different menus for each Roblox game kind of confusing at times, so it's nice to have the choice to be told how it works. God damn, this game has a whole skill tree and everything. This is super impressive, but I can't say it isn't super familiar. This game at first glance really just looks like a Roblox port of Spider-Man PS4, but that's absolutely not a bad thing. In fact, this game is awesome. The swinging feels amazing, even if I'm still getting used to the controls and the moves that you can do. This Spider-Man can do a lot of shit. I've seen him do the wall bounce move from Spider-Man 2. I've seen him pull out the web wings from the new Spider-Man 2. He's got a web zip that reminds me of the web zip from the TASM 2 video game. He's got all the twos, apparently. And that's not to say that the last game didn't have web wings either, but those worked a little differently from these. This game really nails the theatrical feeling of swinging as Spider-Man. It looks really good, it feels really good, and some familiar Spider-Man numbers play in the back as you swing. I'm pretty sure these are covers of the original themes, 
but they're no slouches either. They still sound amazing. There's Pizza Time missions too, along with the infamous Pizza Time theme. I seriously can't believe it. I seriously cannot believe this. You give Insomniac like five bajillion dollars or whatever to make a new Spider-Man game for you, and some motherfucker on Roblox completely remakes it for free. The suits in this game aren't as easy to access when compared to the last game. There's crimes you can bust around the city, and they'll give you cash for doing so. And you can take that money and gamble it for a selection of common, uncommon, rare, epic, or even legendary skins. The more you spend, the higher grade of rarity. Collecting the money for these is pretty slow going, so there's a bit more of an incentive to buy in-game money. At least there's an AFK money generator you can use. Fucking Tangled Web Chronicles. Showing children how to gamble with Spider-Man. Well, I guess I'll just leave this here all night. Fuck this shit. <sighs> Fuck this goddamn shit, I'm too impatient. All right, well that was Tangled Web Chronicles. Pretty kick-ass, I can't lie. Whew, man, this was quite the episode. You know what's funny? I actually had people protesting to me making a video covering these Roblox Spider-Man games. And in a way, I kind of get it. It's Roblox. But that doesn't discount the hard work and dedication that these creators have put into their games. Every game here warrants at least one try. And with Roblox being free, who needs that goddamn PS5 anyway?